If you guys have followed this channel for a while, you know that one thing I've featured a lot on this channel is my central town plaza featuring our new Brickerton sign. This was an area present when the city was first founded and it's important for me to keep it around as a place of beauty in our city. We've done a few different things to upgrade it over the last year, such as adding a detailed rock base, some flower beds, and some additional city details, such as a bike rack, a bench, and sidewalks. So those initial designs were pretty good, but I thought we could do a little bit better. So let's add this to the list of Mills upgrades that we've done for the city. I'd like to show you guys our brand new plaza. This is all that's left from the original plaza, but we don't need that anymore. And this one is a lot cooler. So let me show you guys. I took a basic plaza that was reflective of my building skills at the time and finally brought it into the next era of our city building. I'm gonna take you back a few days and explain some of the thinking behind this project. If you wanna just see more of the build, skip to this time on the screen. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna be working on today is we're gonna be completely revamping this middle plaza here today. Something I've never really showed you guys in the city before, the way I originally did my sidewalks they're just a plate with tiles on it, which is obviously not the most practical thing because as you can see, they kind of all wiggle around. I lost some of these parts when I was moving around stuff in the city and I don't know where they are. So what we're gonna do today is I have prepared for us a massive mills plate, which is gonna go right in the center of the city and then it's gonna have our plaza built on top of it. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. This sidewalk portion is quite large, so I did actually make my own custom uh, base plate. You can see I have one base plate in the middle with uh, a bunch of cut up pieces around the edges, which is pretty impractical way to do it, I would say, but it works for us. Um, we've got trees everywhere, gas station destroyed, um, debris over here. All these rock pieces here, these are slants that I'm gonna be using for this coastline here, so I can make it look a little bit better, but you can see it just kinda throw the pieces on there. And the fire station is a little bit destroyed as well. So we are gonna have to uh, do some of that stuff, but I won't bore you with that. Um, also, real quick, before we get going, I wanted to show you guys all of these awesome pieces that we got from this Leo Classic uh, Space Station box, which is really cool. This was a gift from my girlfriend and her family. Thank you guys. But look at all of these awesome pieces. Some gold, these highlighter fluorescent yellow ones are really cool. I don't know what you would use those for. This is a cool piece. This blue is really nice. I love this teal, it's a uh, light green. Oh, and this, this coral color, this magenta, both really nice. And this deep purple here, it's really nice too. So a bunch of really cool colors. I had just sorted all those out. It'd be, it'd be really helpful if they just came sorted because they uh, advertise them being sorted, but they're definitely not. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you the empty city center. I just got that cleaned out. So when you're doing a detailed design like this, there's two ways to do it. Design the build first and then purchase the pieces you need or design using only pieces that you already have in your inventory. For this build, I did the latter. So it's basically a matter of maximizing the pieces you have and designing something that uses those pieces in the most creative and aesthetically pleasing way possible. And for me here, that was basically making a symmetrical design that's pretty simple but has a little bit of intricate detail. I could also make a video on how to make a time lapse but I think I need a little bit more practice as the second half of this build is entirely out of focus but if you squint your eyes you can see me realizing that I should move the planters to the corner of the build and add an additional square in the center of each quadrant just to add some final detail. So this is the completed Mills Plate Town Plaza. Um, I am super excited about this, you guys. Not only does this look a lot better, but this is just also gonna make things a lot easier in the city as now I can just pick up this solid chunk, move this around, I can uh, move it at my will. Let me talk to you guys just really quickly about some of the upgrades that we have done. Not only did we transfer our original 
um, Town Plaza onto a mills plate. We also completely created a new design here in the center of the plaza. And then it's got a really nice symmetrical tile design with four planters featuring these plants that are raised up. What I'm trying to do here is create a little ramp that goes down onto the crosswalk. Um, I don't think it's going to be perfect yet, but this is the level of detail that I do want to start adding into the city. But one thing that I really want to show you guys that I'm really excited about is how this build fits up next to the ice cream shop that I did. Okay. So these aren't necessarily actually supposed to go together like this, but I think you can see elements are gonna start to come together and how this is gonna allow our city to be super movable. But as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, I do have a lot of work cut out for me as far as what we need to do going forward in the city. I've got a lot of planning to do. I gotta get some more parts and we've got a lot of building to do. So I know you guys have seen, I've done a few new builds lately. We've gotta get these incorporated into the city. We've got a few new buildings and a few exciting things on the way. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on some awesome upcoming content. And uh, thank you for all of the recent love, everyone. As I said, we recently hit 1,500 subscribers and it is just insane. So I uh, really appreciate it, everyone. So as the last part of this video, we are going to be uh, installing this into the city and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and do that, and I will leave you guys with that installation, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.